You guys have been on my butt for such a long time to finally tune this car. This car has honestly been transformed. You may have been here, Dad, to witness the explosion of the PTGT. Oh, shit. today is huge. This is a video that I have been waiting for so long to make and that you guys have been waiting for so long for me to make as well. This is something huge that we, I think, all have really wanted to see happen to the PPGT. We've wanted to see some sort of something related to this happen to that car. I've had so many different plans and my plans have changed so many times. I was in contact with so many different people. I had so many different ideas. And finally, in like a week, it all came together. Before I get started, I just want to be sappy and say thank you guys so much for all the support, especially lately. Thanks to all you guys' support, I'm able to go on some business endeavors and do some crazy things that I wanna do for a long time that will continue to help me grow and just everything that you guys do just by simply hanging around, hitting that subscribe button, watching the videos, hitting that thumbs up button, your support down in the comments too, just everything you guys do like that, it's huge to me. Thank you so much for all you've done for me recently because we are finally able to make this video. And what better way for the foyer content to get kicked off with a brand new stage one ECU. I shouldn't say brand new, this obviously isn't brand new, but ladies and gentlemen, right here in the palm of my hands is a lot of horsepower, some big gains. <laughs> this is a brand new PCM for the PTGT with a Mopar stage one tune flashed onto it. I have to give a big shout out to Neon PCMs Plus. One of you guys actually showed me their page. It's a Facebook page and they work with a lot of like Chrysler PCM kind of stuff in general, but got in contact with them. I told them what was up. I'm like, you know, I've been, I've been looking to do some sort of stage one for a while. And they're like, no problem at all. We got some right here. They can flash your ECU for you. They can do all kinds of stuff. So big shout out to them. I'm not like sponsored by them at all, but I just wanted to give a huge shout out because this has been in the works for a long time. I've talked to different companies that do stage one tunes. I've thought about going with like Diablo Performance. These guys had the hookup. So again, huge shout out to Nissan PCMs. Plus I'll put a link to the Facebook page down below. Go on there and shoot them a message if you're wondering about anything PCM related for your PT as well. I've been having a lot of issues with the current PCM more recently. Like today, the car was running perfectly fine. Check engine light went off, but just the other day, it was just, it ran off. It was running really rich. It was stuttering. It was just just not happy at all And it shoots all sorts of random codes This is not only gonna take care of that but give us that boost of power that we've been looking for for quite some time And this is only the beginning trust me I see records. Oh, yeah, I also unplugged my battery. I mean of course I may act dumb I'm not actually quite that dumb. New ECU is already in and installed. There are four bolts that hold it. One, two, three, and then four right over there somewhere. Once you get it off, there's three little bolts that hold the actual mounting plate to the ECU. Cleaned up the plate, swapped it over, threw it back in. We're ready to get started with the transmission learning process. Which I know a lot of you guys are probably curious about. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through that and when we can finally drive this thing and feel the difference on stage one. So first things first, we gotta go ahead and start up the car for the first time on stage one. And now we're just gonna wait, let this thing idle and warm up until the cooling fan cycles one time, probably be a few minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and take this thing out. Oh my God. All right, I hear it, the cooling fan's on. All right, she's all done. Let's do it. She's probably gonna run pretty bad at first, but the computer literally just needs to learn what the heck it is doing at first, so. That's why we're also gonna go through the stage one transmission quick learn procedure. Thankfully, Neon PCMs Plus sent along this little printout, which I was wondering about it, so this came in handy. Again, huge shout out, but basically we have to, I mean, we've already let everything warm up. Now we have to perform 15 launches from zero to 50 at 25% to 50% throttle, two to one coast downs as you break to stop, and then we go 40 and tip in until we achieve achieve a four to three, four to two kick down, perform it 10 times. They gotta do some baby, baby little step-ons and then we gotta do some pulls. All right, let's do our first 25% throttle launch. Lightly breaking to a stop. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do that a bunch more. <laughs> One eternity later. It 
does it make that like, there's like a noise between gears, I don't know. It's like, um, it's what it sounded like when you would be wide open going from like second to third and stuff, but. One of the first things you notice that's different is the crackly pops that it makes when you rev. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. And we'll get some more sound clips of that later, but this car has honestly been transformed. You guys have been on my butt for such a long time to finally tune this car and do something with the tuning and honestly I've been on my own butt to get this thing tuned for a long time too. It's always been a goal of mine. I just didn't want to go there until I was really ready to go all out. And I'm going to talk about stage one versus you know the Diablo performance tuning and all that because this isn't going to stay like this. I can already tell you that even though I'm blown away by the difference I still have huge plans for this car and it's still going to get changed in the near future. But again stay tuned to later in the video to hear all the plans because there is some big stuff coming and I'm going to kind of allude to that a little bit more as this video goes on. But for those of you who don't know what stage one is, I keep going on and on about stage one. This ECU that I got is basically a Mopar ECU that has their stage one upgraded 93 octane tune on it. it. Basically ups the boost, it changes the shifting maps completely, changes a ton of stuff like that within the computer itself to change up how this thing runs and really get a lot more performance out of it. Because obviously these cars were tuned pretty mildly from the factory, even though they were an SRT4 just coupled to an automatic. I know a lot of people roast me for having the automatic, but the 41TE is an awesome transmission. Not gonna lie, I mean it won't hold up to tons and tons of boost, but it is still an incredible transmission. So first gear, I'm not even going to try right now because first gear there's no traction, but let's do a little second gear pull. Already going very illegal speeds. <laughs> We're making quite a bit more boost now. I'm seeing numbers close to like 15, 16 pounds a boost depending on what gear we're in, depending on how we get on it, things like that. The car was tuned down so much and it spools up so quickly that honestly I wasn't seeing barely the potential that is possible out of not only this motor but this turbo. So the rev limiter is increased to I think like 6300 RPMs. Boost is definitely up and the transmission shifts a lot harder and a lot firmer and I really 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 love that upgrade especially. I do think that the Mopar stage one upgrade is a little bit more mild than other stage one upgrades like for example the Psych tuning stage one upgrade which I really originally had been planning to go with all this time kind of start out with but it's honestly just perfect it's literally the first stage it's the first stage in moving forward kind of it works perfectly now with the intake and exhaust too I think it just complements it perfectly it's literally perfect it spools so fast, I just get out a little bit and immediately you're at 10, 12 pounds of boost. Also, I have new gauges coming very soon for this. I know everybody's been going crazy over how ugly my gauges look because I have different gauge here, working gauge here, not working gauge. Don't worry, I've got all new ones coming that are gonna look amazing and we're also gonna redo that oil pressure gauge yet again. First gear used to be very limited as far as boost is concerned, but now first gear is like hard to keep traction and it's crazy. We're on a nice quiet road in Mexico, so we're gonna slow down to about I don't know, 15 miles an hour and hit it a little bit in first gear, just watch. <laughs> notice I think I mentioned this earlier on in the video I can't remember normally this car between gears you get up when you're in auto sync mode it would shift automatically at about 59 to 6,000 rpms and it would make that kind of almost DSG sounding kind of fart noise in between gears you guys know what I'm talking about I'll see if I can find a clip of it to play right now it doesn't do that at all now it just bangs into the next gear which is crazy sounding also the exhaust crackly pops so much more I know you can't really hear it on camera and with the windows up but oh it sounds so good let's do a little bit of a second gear rip <laughs> it's 
like it shifts so quickly too. It used to lag the shift so much, like especially going into fourth gear, I tap and it would be like, eh, okay. But now it's just it's quick, it's responsive, it shifts a lot harder, but not too hard. That is like that's probably oh I don't know. That's a huge part of this tune for real. It's something you guys don't think about. You're like, oh yeah, you get some more boost and a better fuel map. That's cool. But no, it changes everything about this car it feels completely different it feels like a completely different powertrain and it's way faster i wish there was a way that i could compare the numbers and i wish i thought oh that was a bump i wish i thought to do something like that but the only problem with that was my old ecu was having so many issues that now that i have the new one in here it wasn't really a very fair comparison but i guarantee that this tune alone with the intake and everything and exhaust has brought as significant significantly significantly changed things like zero to 60 a quarter mile It's like, okay, that's what boost feels like. <laughs> so good. though is it it also feels like it was meant to be this way this isn't some you know email me some files do some data logging i'll tune your car for you on facebook kind of thing it's like really oem plus in a way you know but anyways now that i've had way too much fun here in mexico um we're gonna head back now we're gonna get some more clips of the car and then i'm gonna finally have the serious dad talk with you guys about why i didn't go with diablo performance yet so I figured before we go any further, I think it's only fair that we get a dad reaction to stage one. Don't worry, this is going to be interesting. It is like, dad rode in this car probably more than anybody, honestly, and um, it's fast. It's, it's like way faster. It's so much more different. picture of your facial expression but you should have seen mine yeah I know you wow point it on yourself hey surging it's some sort of maybe vacuum line okay that okay that that did not sound okay well we rolled right into the garage well it was a fun ride <laughs> anyway exciting well you may have been here, Dad, to witness the explosion of the PTGT. Oh, boys, boys. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, that's it, that's it. That's what it was. Oh my, oh, thank Jesus. So this, I, I had an issue with this line before. This line back here, this line back here, right here, that line. Yeah. See that? It goes in the back of this intake, yeah. which would explain the weird vacuum leak. It goes down to the brake booster. I was, I was, I thought we were like, okay, project, project PDGT starting a little earlier than I wanted to. <laughs> oh, dude, that scared me so bad. All right, so I ended up using a little bit of this stuff. This is JB Weld Quick Weld. It's like a quick setting epoxy, really strong stuff. <laughs> we ain't having that blow out of there ever again. I got that all epoxied up and gave it plenty of time to cure. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in here, but oh my God, well, that was quite the scare. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
for one day it is about time we had the talk so I know for a long time a lot of you guys have asked me about this and told me that I should totally go with Diablo performance because they make the tuning stuff flashing device everything that you need to really get into tuning any sort of like SRT4 anything a lot of SRT stuff in general and honestly for a little while I was planning to go with them I had been going back and forth really all summer on what I was gonna do because I still had big plans for this car and it's not going to be staying just like this for very long I debated back and forth on what I was gonna do whether I should just get a Diablo performance some sort of Diablo tune and um, go with that and get this thing tuned and, and do some different stuff like that or whether I should go with like psych tuning psych makes some awesome stuff they make a flasher too they do stage one ECUs and stuff I talked to them and I was I was really wanting to go with psych for a long time but I just couldn't quite justify the investment especially when we ended up hitting that deer we ended up doing the body restoration on this car that was a big uh, game changer for me that kind of slowed this whole part of the game down so that being said I've been going back and forth for a long time and I realized the benefits of Diablo and I realized that in order to really advance that's what you have to do do because Diablo allows you to get this thing tuned but Mopar stage one is Mopar stage one it's just an ECU with a really really good Mopar tune on it and that's it it starts and ends there you know we're not there yet so why did I finally go with stage one honestly two reasons one because I felt like it and two because the ECU in this car was going bad the ECU that was in it was in really bad shape it was doing all kinds of typical ECU failure things more recently it has gotten to the point where I thought the car was going to die on me more than once the way it stuttered out and just it was just gonna die a couple times I thought I was actually having some wheel hop issues and it was literally just because the car was misfiring so the solid motor mounts are treating me very well by the way and also big shout out again to neon PCMs plus because it wasn't for them I still don't know what I would have done but he hooked me up with a stage one ECU and um, here we are so I've always wanted to try it out and this was my opportunity so now this is what we have for right now for the next little bit until we take that next step I'm not gonna reveal any of that to you guys yet because there's so much more to come as far as content's concerned and I'm really not sure exactly what routes we're gonna go with everything so you guys just gotta hit that subscribe button you guys gotta hit that bell you gotta stick along with the journey because this car is gonna go through a lot especially now that we have the daily cruiser which speaking of the daily cruiser the next video you guys see will be on this now that I got everything figured out with stage one <laughs> this car is running incredibly I'm gonna daily this for the next week or so so this is only the beginning guys I hope you enjoyed though and I know a lot of people have been asking me about this for so long so let me know what your thoughts are on stage one down below I am absolutely in love with it. it it honestly it feels like a completely different car like I was saying earlier and it's so much faster already it's an absolute different animal and I can't wait to kick some more butt in Mexico <laughs> but speaking of which we actually have a car meet tonight I think there's only one way to properly finish off this video and that is to take the stage one PTGT over to the meet see what everybody thinks I would be an instant sideways. All right, I'm gonna sing the song that's on everybody's mind. <laughs> to the window, <laughs> to the wall. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> I express to you how much slower it feels right now. <laughs> and it feels quick to us. I got that downforce though. My car is not this quick. That's why that's Foggy jump though. I don't have air conditioning, so. It makes all the right noises. It really does. You can tell me it, it down does. It does. Yeah. Yes. I have no traction. Colin was spinning us 
tires at least to like up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was pretty Trash, crazy. He's scratching his left the server. <laughs> I just want him like right up to the cross. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. Race line. The oh, return of the apex. You're a lot more confident around corners than I am. <laughs> I think I we're turned over there. there. I'm not sure. Are we? I, I thought we came down this road. Is this the road we came down before? Yep. Uh, go to the wire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. We went back. Okay. To the wire. I, I got. I got. Park the lot and do some burnouts. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 we're dead! Oh, we're dead! I got this. I got this. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, no, 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 no. There should be nobody here either. There's no way to I like around. how we're bouncing around like a fucking couple of bowling pins back here. <laughs> Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Uh, uh, oh, oh, God. It's like oh, mountains. Painful. Yeah. Do it again. That's my two-step. Oh, sick. That's my two-step. <laughs> you want me to shut it off? Yeah, you can. 